Hi, this is Ed Loose in September edition of The Catalyst. I'm Brad Costello, Senior Director of Strategy, and I'll be covering the top trends coming out of September and what we're watching for through the rest of the year. Today, we'll talk through three points, ad spend leveling off over this summer, the legal and user troubles currently plaguing big tech, and the just announced Prime Day early access event. Overall, ad spending growth has leveled off and was actually down year over year for the last three months with a 3% decline in August. A number of factors are all coming together to cause this slowdown, but the main drivers are the uncertainty in the economy, a lack of bigger sporting events this summer compared to last, inflation starting to cause consumers to decrease spending, especially discretionary purchases, and privacy regulations starting to have a negative impact on some forms of digital ads. Underneath the larger trend, there are a few more nuanced shifts that are worth shedding some light on. While overall spending is down, digital spending is still seeing modest growth with about a 6% increase in August. While digital spending surged during the pandemic, we haven't seen the full shift to online shopping that some expected. And as the split between online and offline buying has returned to pre-pandemic levels, ad spend geared towards e-commerce has tapered off as well. Digging in further there, we are seeing the strongest growth right now in search ad spending. As privacy changes that I'll touch on in a minute are impacting upper funnel and social formats much more, especially for performance marketers, more dollars are being moved closer to the conversion action in search. This also makes sense as consumers are pulling back on buying and demand generation in more push type channels becomes more difficult. That brings us to the next topic of the current barrage of legal and privacy woes facing today's tech giants, particularly Google and Facebook. As I mentioned, Apple's app tracking transparency, known as ATT for short, is starting to have noticeable impacts on Facebook's ability to provide effective campaign targeting and optimization. And we're already seeing advertisers pull back some spend, or at the very least, not increase while their channels are growing. Facebook themselves forecasted that ATT could cost them $10 billion in revenue this year, and that's looking more and more realistic. And now on top of that, Meta is facing a class action suit for allegedly building in a workaround to its in-app browsing functionality that continues to track user behavior despite ATT regulations. On the other side of the digital duopoly, Google just lost an appeal effort against a $4 billion fine being levied against them by the EU antitrust court for quashing competition, while at the same time, a U.S.-based state-level antitrust case against them is advancing in the courts. Rumors of of a federal-level case are becoming more and more likely, with the potential suit being filed any day now. It is now becoming increasingly likely that real antitrust action will have to be taken by Google, which could mean splitting up and or selling off its ad tech arms. This obviously could have some pretty far-reaching impacts for marketers, as many have grown increasingly reliant on the consolidated ad stack that Google has diligently built over the last several years. The only silver lining for the platforms in any of this is that a judge did just dismiss an antitrust claim against the so-called Jedi Blue Deal that was struck between the two firms a few years ago. All of this is obviously bad news at a corporate level for these companies, but we're also starting to see these themes play out at the user level too. Recent insider intelligence data shows that user trust in social media platforms is at an all-time low, and Facebook in particular has seen a 12 percentage point decrease in trust over the past two years, with only 18% of users agreeing that the platform protects their privacy and data. Add on top of that that more than 50% are reporting seeing more ads on the platform, and that 29% of the time those ads don't match their actual interests, which is likely due to tracking limitations stemming from ATT. And Facebook in particular has a big uphill battle to win back trust and ensure they're keeping the large lead and active users they've built over the past decade. I couldn't go this long talking tech giants without bringing in Amazon, which nicely wraps up our third talking point for this month with recent announcement and confirmation of a second prime shopping event this year. October 11th and 12th will now be the prime early access event, essentially a prime day part two. It will be two days of heavy discounting across categories on Amazon and is likely to pull quite a bit of holiday spending forward, as well as force the hand of quite a few retailers to offer significant discounts themselves to stay competitive. For more info on how we at AdLucent expect this new retail holiday to impact the entire season, Download our 2022 Holiday Outlook white paper out now. That's all for this month. Thanks for watching and follow Ed Lucent on LinkedIn for more content like this.